hey welcome back once again really happy to see you learning because uh, this is the only thing which can help you in your growth as well as in the career so in this session we will continue in fact not continue we will start that how basically you set up a user id firewall rules and uh, that will also be based on the ldap server means that the user id authentication will be done from the ldap server so if you watch my previous video i have already set up a firewall rule but that was basically a demo that how this how how i am go, going to set up a firewall rule uh, but uh, that was not a complete video uh, that uh, how basically you configure all those things so in this session i will just take step by step that how all the parts you can integrate and then you can set up your lab by yourself okay so in this session basically like after it will be like a series of three to four videos and after watching all of them you will be able to uh, see that how the palo alto user authentication works you will be just uh, come to know about the palo alto user id and if the palo alto user id is not working then how to troubleshoot those right if sometimes we are also seen that the palo alto user access mapping is denied so what are the uh, features behind that or what is causing that that one we will come to know in the like uh, three to four videos how much time it is takes to cover because it could be the longer videos like for two or three hours so people do not prefer that one the long one so i will just break it in the smaller ones okay so uh, what i am going to do like uh, this is a tap of uh, switch here and from this switch i have taken an ldap server this is basically a windows server but i will be treating as an ldap server so we will configure feature and roles and from this windows server i have taken a switch it, it means that you can treat this one as an internet like right? our internet internal network let me open my pen there you go okay that's fine i will use blue color so this you can take this one oh where's my pen here it is so this one you can treat it as an internal network so in the internal network there are some machines and this will be your ldap server so if you have logged on to any of your organization if you have worked upon you will see that uh, in any organization you are having some domain that is xyz and slash then it is your username right that username could be like specifically of name somewhere your name or it could be something else right mm -hmm. so what we see that how basically your machine joins that domain right so that one we will look upon all right so i will set up that this will be a machine your computer that will try to join that domain that ldap server and from there uh, you will see that i will be doing some domain and then slash something your username and then i will try to log in that machine okay once that is part is done then i will configure this firewall rule here on the palo alto firewall and then we will go to the internet so that's what all i'm going to do in the complete one and uh, in this video i'm going to configure one by one like we'll see that how much it can be done and then we will break it to the smaller parts so let's just do one thing i will configure this windows server in this session so as i have already done that part so the rule is there already the configuration is there so i will just wipe this configuration here uh, there is an option of wipe here okay so this is going to wipe let's delete all the configuration from this windows server and now i'm going to start it and let's see that what is happening so we'll do just first we configure this we will then uh, configure this machine ip address and all then we will try to jo uh, uh, join the domain here so first i will configure this ldap server So it is just takes a time as usual. So So 
so it will be just uh, showing all these windows like this okay so if you want to later on it will be like a blank screen and then it will ask some of the options okay so from this one we will go for the standard server with gui okay so it will go for the next and uh, we will accept the terms and condition then it is saying that upgrade install windows and key files and we will go for the uh, custom install okay so if i go for custom install then it will ask for the options that i have to browse it like uh, load it from somewhere right so what i'm going to do i'm going to load the drivers from here i will browse it and uh, from here i will go to floppy disk drive b and here i will go to storage and this 203 r2 and amd 64 okay and here we click ok it is coming and now we will click on next so it's just depending if your machine is something else then from amd you may have to select the uh, x86 so that's a basically a processor that on which processor uh, you're running so i'm using that uh, machine that is using that amd uh, ryzen series so because of that it was giving an option amd but if you are using like intel you may have to go to the x86 as well so now i just click next and uh, it is going to take a significant five, uh, time for that and if any uh, like now it has started it is going to take a lot of time so i will just skip all these parts slowly you can just wait it uh, it is take, going to take some time for that i will just uh, directly jump to uh, finish window okay that what it, it comes when it, it is finishing okay and time for that uh, like installation setup uh, it took me around uh, 30 minutes so it could be 30 minutes or larger depending on your like system that what other resources are there finally it will land up on this page now it is asking to set the password so i will set up the password whatever is i have written here you can do, do any of things the user username is already administrator I will set up as admin at that one two three. Okay. And just finish it up. So it is finalizing my setting. So for this, like everything is almost is done, and uh, this is like uh, setting up a Windows Server. That how you set it up. Really. Later on, we can also learn how to configure Windows roles and features. That is for like uh, we can set it up for the LDAP that is the like active directory and then we can also set it up for the dns and dhcp so it just depends so finally like we are on the activation window and uh, we can begin install 
and uh, that's how on, on we are on the server okay so for logging it on uh, it is asking for the control all del uh, but if you press control all del then it is basically lock my system so what i'm going to do i will use my on screen keyboard for it so that works so i'm going to use my on screen keyboard you can type on screen keyboard on your system it and it will just uh, show it up like this and then you can click on this windows on window where your server is there and then press control all del it is still control all del okay. <laughs> okay it's still not there we will go control alt del still not there okay okay so that's how it is there and uh, now it is asking for the password okay so you can close this window now you are able to type it so admin same thing with what password i have set it up admin at the rate one two three so this is how it will open the server manager now it's your job to configure the add roles and features on so on the server manager so this is like a configuration of a server manager that how you set it up on the windows server so i'm stopping as of now uh, till it and uh, how to add roles and features and how to configure an ldap i will configure uh, on the separate videos okay and if you have any question please uh, feel free to reach me and uh, i'll be happy to help you out okay